it scared the hell out of me. Well, good morning, everybody. This is Cruise Man once again on a Sunday morning. Get my camera turned around here where it belongs. And I'm once again leaving my morning breakfast here at Awake in Carrollton where my friend Don and Dale, another uh, Goldwing, 2018 Goldwing rider, met for breakfast. And I have a couple of big news stories. Dale is, uh, has a 2018 white manual transmission Goldwing, and he's also an MSF instructor. He uh, conducts the beginner motorcycle training classes. And uh, Don has sold his 2018 Goldwing. Sold it uh, yesterday, I believe. But anyway, I just want to welcome you if you're new to the channel. Welcome. I would appreciate it if you click that little subscribe button. It doesn't cost anything to subscribe, and YouTube will let you know when it come out with new videos. It is a cool, borderline cold morning here in Dallas today. In fact, I see my tire pressure warning light is on. My bike sat outside for a couple hours while we were having breakfast, and now my uh, looks like my rear tire is down to 36 pounds. So uh, I may have to throw a little air in it. It'll warm up, and the pressure will come up here in a little bit. So I just got back in town last night from our latest uh, cruise project. Some of you know that uh, we have another YouTube channel and a website for the cruise industry. It's where the name Cruise Man comes from. And uh, we were just uh, gone for a week on the brand new Carnival Mardi Gras, which is their largest ship. And the only reason I bring it up is because I did something I've never done before. In fact, until this ship came out, it was impossible to do it. I actually rode on the first roller coaster on a cruise ship. That's right. On the Carnival Mardi Gras, they have a roller coaster called Bolt. And I... I hate roller coasters, okay? I, I have not ridden a roller coaster since I was probably in high school. I don't even remember the last time I rode a roller coaster, to be honest with you. Because I just don't like them. And, but you know, we got a website for the cruise industry. There's a roller coaster on a cruise ship. You got to do it. And we were guests of the cruise line. And we did have a, a media... PR host on board and there was a group of about 10 of us in the media group and they set up a time where we had private access to this roller coaster so I rode it basically you do two laps around the track it only takes about 30 seconds to do a lap it, it goes very quick but I'm telling you it scared the hell out of me first of all you sit on it like a motorcycle and all you have is a lap belt strapping you in. And when you go around this uh, roller coaster track, I mean, you're leaning at a pretty good angle and the thing goes fast. I think it goes up to 40 miles an hour. And you can actually control the speed. You've got like a throttle on the right grip where you can give it a what they call a boost. So you can make it go faster. I didn't. I just took it at the speed that it went normally. And I'm telling you, it was it was a rush, but it was scary. You're 230 some feet up from the ocean. 
<laughs> this roller coaster you're going around in circles and fortunately you don't go upside down but it was it was pretty intense it was much more intense than i expected it to be and uh, if you love roller coasters and you're into cruising uh, and you go on Carnival Mardi Gras, you definitely want to pay the $15 to ride the Bolt. Pretty interesting uh, experience. So right now, it is about 59 degrees. It was 49 degrees when I left this morning. And I love this kind of weather. To me, this is the perfect weather for riding a motorcycle. We don't have any wind today. It's it's just a beautiful day, sunny, clear. I don't know, what's it like where you live? You know, when we left town a week ago, it was in the 80s. And now I think the highs are in like the low 70s here. So it cooled off really fast here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. But this is my favorite time of year uh, to ride a motorcycle is when it's about, I don't know, 43 to 49 degrees in the morning. It's just cool and crisp. I just love it. And I'm also, this is my first video, my first moto vlog, where I'm using my brand new GoPro 10 Hero 10 Black. It's the camera that's on my helmet. I'm still using a Hero 8 on the handlebars. But I went ahead and bought the Hero 10, and I'm uh, trying it out. You probably won't notice a huge difference uh, over the Hero 8 on the motor vlogs, but should I go to 4K video for my motor vlogs, I think it'll probably give me a little better product. And I'm anxious to see how the audio works. I'm just curious when I get home and do some editing on this, how it looks. So let me know if you are uh, a motor vlogger or if you own uh, a GoPro Hero 10. I'd be anxious to know what your experience has been. I know it is a little bit bulkier and a little bit heavier uh, than the GoPro 8, but not. I wouldn't say it's significant enough to where it'll be a, a hindrance. I'm going to stop here at the grocery store, do a little a little shopping before I go home. And I just thought I'd say hi, let you know we're back in town. I uh, put out the uh, Monimoto 7 video last week while we were gone. And I should have a couple of other little review videos coming up here in the in the near future. So I'll remind you once again, if you are passionate about motorcycles, I think you're going to enjoy this channel, so please uh, click that subscribe button and join in the conversation. I just pulled into the grocery store. So if you like this video, I would appreciate it if you click that little thumbs up and let everybody on YouTube know that you enjoyed it. It really, really makes a huge difference in our channel and it's much appreciated. More videos coming soon. Thanks again for joining me today and I will see you on the next Cruise Man's Motor Vlog.